Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another food uh, video. It's been a minute since uh, we've done food videos. It's been uh, a minute since videos. Period. <laughs> um, yeah, we haven't uploaded in a while. We've been uh, pretty busy with real life stuff to yeah. take care of. But uh, now it's it's the summertime. Yep, we got so, everything uh, taken care of. We are officially out of school. We're about to go crazy. We are about to drop a lot of videos. Um, so be ready. Oh God, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I feel like making them is gonna be fun too. Cause like, yeah. Anyways, today's episode of uh, food review <laughs> is uh I don't know if it's here. No, it's inverted. It's uh over here. Yeah. This is a uh, Joe Joe Chips, the crunchiest and the gnarliest. So, backstory behind these. <laughs> um, 2016. Yeah, we were in middle school, and um, he was actually the one who like first brought these to. Well, I want to say how I found them yeah, first. You start. You, you tell the story. Uh, you, this was yeah. So, in I want to say eighth grade. Uh, there was a place uh, in our town uh, where it's sort of like a gaming, I want to say gaming like place. Arcade, like, an, like Yeah, like not an arcade with like games. It was an arcade with like monitors and consoles. Yeah, like modern consoles. Yeah. Well, was, at the time, you know, PS4, like Xbox PS4s, One. PS4s, Xbox One. Wii U. Wii U. Uh, Wii U's, and you kind of, you go they had, in there. They had like rows of PCs. Yeah, they had a whole entire PC section. You would pretty much go in there. You pay a certain amount of money, I think it's like per hour or whatever, Yeah. and you would be able to just sit there and just play games whenever you would, uh, whatever games they had there. I mean, I know at the time, we didn't have a lot of games like on our yeah. own, so like when we went for like the one time that we went... Uh, I went there a few times myself, but uh, I remember bringing him uh, like maybe once or twice, but... Yeah. Uh, the few times we did go, though, um, you know... They don't have it anymore. No. But it was, it was a really cool concept. Got taken, it, it was a good concept. It would have been, you know, better, like a better uh, business if they put it in a better location. Yeah. It was, like, in a weird-ass location in a random parking lot, like, next to another store, like, in the back. And I was kind of looking at it, like, that's really... Also, I think if, like, the pricing was different, like, yeah. I think if, like, if you were a member, like, if you, like, paid, like, monthly or yearly for, like, a membership, yeah. and it could just show up whenever you want show to. Show up whenever you want, instead of having to pay, like, per day. Yeah, or, or per hour. Per hour, pretty much. At that point, it was kind of, like, and, you know, you, you quickly come to understand where that concept kind of dies, because it's, like, if you have a console at home, why would yeah. you pay somebody else to play another console hourly yeah the, i think the concept sort of works if you have a group of friends and you want want to play but like in person like if you guys wanted to have like a land party where you guys like had that pizza. would be a good spot for like birthday parties to where yeah. it's like if you want like a gaming party go there you have all the pcs you have all the computers all the monitors all the all the, so you uh, could be like side and, by side and playing they against chips, each other. They got drinks. You could pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, they order pizzas, so mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. But anyway, unfortunately, it didn't really work out. But it did not work out. Uh, at the place, they had just the, chips. These um, that uh, I, I was interested in, and I ordered. I remember ordering uh, a box of these once. I once I found out where you could get them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that, that leads us to where we are today. It's been years. <laughs> it has been years it's since, been since years. we've had them. That was, like, middle school the last time I had them, and now we're, like, graduating. We're not graduating. We graduated high school two years ago. We're already two years out, so this was a good, like, six, seven years ago. This is going to yeah. be really fucking interesting. Ripping into the box, we got a couple different flavors. Um... I'll kind of just flip the box this way. You guys can see all the different chips, all the different bags. How many bags are in here? Uh, I think 30. Yeah, nearly 30. So, you want to start, you know, with the Oh, flavor. shit. No, 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 we're good. Make sure the drinks. We can start with the flavors. <laughs> Let's start with this one because this is our least favorite one. <laughs> well, we could tell it's going to be our least favorite. So there's a dill pickle flavor. The reason um, I fucking hate pickles. If you look at the if you look at this box, and I would love for like 
it to be possible for us to look at this box right now. If you look, were to look at it, there's only one of those, one of those bags. <laughs> you were able to customize the bag, the box, to like kind of like, oh, what kind of chips do you want? Um, we customized the bag, saw that there was a pickle flavor. We only put one of them bitches in there because no, sir. Yeah. <laughs> we do not like pickles. Especially on chips. Put that one back in there, cuz. Yeah. Um, another flavor we have is sea salt. Mm -hmm. Classic Rose sea chip. salt. Classic sea salt, which I'm expecting it to just be a regular chip, you know? Mm. Um, that mucho mango hit. And then we have jalapeno chips. I'm a fan of jalapeno chips. So for me, you know, I'm excited for these. Yeah. And then we have off-road... Uh, what? We have a barbecue. Barbecue. BBQ. Off-road barbecue. Whatever that means. <laughs> After that, we have... Sour cream and toasted onion. So it's sour cream and onion. Just regular sour cream and onion. Um, this is probably going to be my second least favorite. I think so, too. Um, I'm not a big fan of... Sweet potato chips? I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes um, I'm not fries. really, you know, not really like that. I like regular, surprises, though. regular potatoes are good. Um, we got salt and pepper, which I think are genuinely just going to be regular chips. Yeah, or at least, you know, with a little bit of with spice. a little bit of spice. Because we already have the salt, the yep, regular we salt. we got the sea salt, and then we got the salt and pepper. And then the last flavor is the one flavor that he got. He's the reason why we got here. This, he's the reason why we're here right now. And it was because back in middle school, he brought this flavor to school, I think, damn near every day. He had a whole box. Like, we have a box here with all different flavors. You could order a box with like specific flavors depending on which one you like. So he liked this one the most. So he had a whole box with like 30 of these. <laughs> this flavor being bacon and cheddar. Ooh. These chips I have not had in over six fucking years. <laughs> so I'm it's gonna like, be uh it's ah, gonna be a uh, ratatouille. Oh my god. It's gonna be a ratatouille <laughs> moment where he takes a bite out of it and it's gonna be flashed back to Jesus uh Christ I'm to excited. Eighth grade. Um the whole box was what thirty dollars? Yeah, there's thirty boxes, thirty dollars is pretty or thirty bags. Sorry, thirty dollars. So it's pretty much a dollar a bag, which is pretty cool. That's how much you would be paying at a fucking uh, corner store or any other store. You'd probably be paying like two nineteen, almost three dollars for a bag of chips at like a supermarket. So. Yeah. Um. What's cool about this is that if you really like a flavor, let's say the bacon and cheddar, you can get like a whole bag of just bacon and cheddar. So you could just like. For 30 bucks, you just get a whole you get a stack whole and you'll be good for like a that. month or two. Another thing with this uh, company, which I actually like realized now this time around when I actually like went into it to order it. They have lemonade, pink lemonade, and iced tea. Yep. And the next video we make on this, just like in general, the Joe's, where we might do like a dual review. You might see the chips in the video as well, just because, but... We're going to make a separate video later on down the line to where we review the lemonades and the iced teas and all of the other drinks. Because if these chips taste as good as we remember, the drinks probably taste great too. Oh, yeah. I mean, the company's still going after seven fucking years. So yeah. it's like this company hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. They're clearly doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we're going to get into it now. Where did you want to start? You wanted to start with the dill pickle? Yeah, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> so, we, like we like I said before, we only got one bag of these because, you know, you guys are going to see... Oh, well, no, you guys already saw in our review. We don't... If we don't like a product, we're not going to buy more than one of that product. It just doesn't quite make sense. Um, it says, enjoy off-road Joe's ch retro chips with an ice-cold bottle of Joe tea. So, yeah, we'll definitely do the lemonades and the teas next time. Uh, I'm going to show this, the back. Uh, uh, hold on. Let's see it clearly. Uh, so you can see that. And I'm going to read it. 
I don't know a lot of folk who are pickle neutral. I'm not. <laughs> I'm uh, not. You either love the pickle pucker or you stay far, far away from my dill pickle chips. Far, far away. To my, to my pickle haters, I've got eight other flavors of Joe's chips for you. But if you're a pickle lover like me and want to rock your taste buds with the pickliest of the pickliest kettle cooked potato chips, crack this bag open and crunch some. Joe's retro style chips are cooked the old fangled way in a very, very hot cooking kettle. We care we carefully cook one batch of Joe's chips at a time, just the right amount of time, using premium ingredients. This ensures the crunchiest of chips and the gnarliest of looks. And if by chance these chips make you a little thirsty, wash them down with some Joe tea. Alright. Sadly today we don't have the Joe tea, but we will have it next video, you guys see when it comes to this Joe. Yeah, um, I am not excited for this. I'm a pickle hater, so these chips are not for me. Mm. They smell like regular chips to me, to be honest. I don't smell pickle. Yeah, we only got one bag just because, you know, on the very, very likely chance we don't like it, we could just toss it. Pickle flavored. Pickle chips. This may, this may surprise us. Who knows? Because, you know. I don't know. Pickles usually end up on chicken sandwiches and stuff. Doesn't smell like pickles. Yeah. Anyways, three, two, one. Hmm. They're not bad. They are. They're actually pretty good. The pickle flavor is very, very subtle. It's not like, it doesn't hit you. You could still get like a, a remblance, a semblance of it. But um, it's drowned out by other factors. No, these are pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Out of 10, I'd probably give these a 5. Yeah. I thought they were going to be like a 2 or a 3, but the taste is very, uh, very discreet. So. Mm -hmm. Good job, Joe. Um, yeah, 5 out of 10, I'd say. They're perfectly down the middle. But uh, next, I'd say we go with the, with the classic sea salt. These are sort of like the, unless you wanted another no, bag. No, no, no. There's a reason why we got a box. Yep. I'll uh, leave this for you to read or pause. I'll read this one. This one says, Joe T, getting into the potato business is far less crazy than it sounds. You see, my whole family, grandfather, great uncles, and father were all potato men. I wanted to be different and went into the tea business. Then one day, a potato chip guy called and said I want to buy your tea company and sell Joe tea with my chips I thought to myself that's a great idea but instead of selling out we said heat up the stove because the Joe chips are cooking it's cool that they have little stories in the back that sort of describe uh, what, what it's all about anyways I think this is going to be good yeah, they're just standard potato they're chips. They're just standard potato chips. They look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. These are really good. Just your normal potato chip. This is like kettle cooked, though. Yeah. They give me hints of uh, Cape Cod chips. I want to point that out. All of these chips are kettle cooked. Which are the perfect way. Yeah. Mm. They're good. They give me uh, Cape Cod vibes. Yeah. Dip these in ketchup. Oh, yeah. Mm. Anyways, that's the... Um,
down down in that. That's the classic sea salt. You know, as it says in the name, classic. It's like a classic chip. I can live like an eight. Yeah. Because like, I like regular chips. So, like, to me, when it comes to regular chips, I'm a fan. These. Mm. The two flavors I remember having back in middle school were the cheddar, the bacon and cheddar, and then these, the barbecue ones. Yeah. These look really good. I like the red. Yeah. All right, I'll read this one. Let me uh, show it to you. If you want to pause it and read it for yourself. I don't know if you see that clearly, but... I'll show them. Yeah. This way. All right. Not that I have any business cards, but if I did, it would, I would probably have the title CWO, Chief Wandering Officer. That's because a good deal of my time is spent wandering around the countryside. One day in the middle of nowhere, I came, I came upon a restaurant with a sign that just said BBQ. Well, the ribs they serve had the most bodacious BB barbecue sauce ever. I ended up winning the recipe in a poker game, and it became the inspiration for Off-Road Joe's Barbecue Chips. So, uh, Joe pretty much hustled everybody out there recipe. That's pretty much what I'm hearing. So, uh, <laughs> used it for the chips. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know how to describe it. Barbecue chips have a really, uh, different smell. These smell like a different type of barbecue chip. Mm hmm Oh, look at that. Perfectly seasoned. Mm. 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 I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> Di died and went to heaven. Mm. Holy shit. These are as good as I remember. Mm. You can see why he wanted that recipe so bad. Imagine these on the ribs. Mm. This is like a solid nine for me. Mm -hmm. mm. Holy fuck. This is really good. So good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. These are really good. These are probably among the best barbecue chips you can get. Oh yeah, for sure. I give these an eight as well. I give them a nine. I give these an eight as well. Damn, they're good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak one more. I like jalapeno. I feel like oh. it, it gives you that uh, little tang that you kind of want. Um, I like it a lot. It's pretty good. Yep. Um, I've never had these chips though, specifically. Here's the back. It, might, it may be hard to read that top instruction, but you can't says, read it out loud. It is very important that you read these eating instructions before you open this bag. Three exclamation points. These chips were specific, specially made to be consumed with a bottle of Joe tea, iced tea. I am sorry. so sorry. Sorry, Joe. Do not even think of eating these without your flavor. Okay. We can't do these today. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah. I'll put them back. No, nah, but... Uh, <laughs> We got uh, Arizona. Yeah, we're drinking in Arizona. So, we got uh, some sort of bev. <laughs> they said we cannot be responsible for the burning of the mouth. So I feel like these might attack us a little bit. I kind of want to get into these. These are actually like, I. these are... The jalapenos. <laughs> jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. My Woo-hoo! nose hairs are a little. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Jalapeno chips are. Wait. Mm. All right. All right. You feel the tang. You feel the tiny tang. Yeah. It's like a slight tang. Oh, oh shit. It's hitting me now. It sneaks up on you. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. These are fucking good. Mm-hmm. These are fucking good. Mm. I'm not even going to cap. These are good. Mm. So far, these are my favorite. Oh God, yeah. So far, these are my favorite. These are a nine for me. I give these like an eight. I like these a lot. These are really good. Mm. The flavor is not all the way there for me, but the spice, the experience, yeah. The spice makes up for it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Jalapeno. Perfect. <sighs> Anything jalapeno is good. Next, you know, everybody knows this flavor. This because is, this every is, single company has this flavor. This is a potato chip staple. Uh, sour cream and onion. Anthony and Cleopatra. 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 Bonnie and Clyde. Romeo and Juliet. That's the way I think of dip and chips. <laughs> just think of, just think of a thick, crunchy chip. Now load it with a huge glob of sour cream and onion dip. Watch it as it invites you to open up wine and shove it in your mouth. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Whoa. Pause, bro. Joe was on one. <laughs> this was acceptable six years ago in middle school. This is not acceptable now. Joe, my uh. Okay, ba- <laughs> back to your body. own. Back to your own reality. There is no tempting bowl of dip in front of you, but you are about to open a bag of chips that is going to bam you with that great sour cream and onion flavor. Now open it and go for it. Okay. We'll do that. Copy. We were told to open, so we opened. <laughs> mm. I'm kind of excited. Sour cream and onion is one of my favorite chip flavors like, of all time. I haven't actually had it in a long time. Like, I think the last sour cream and onion chips I had were like the Lay's. But, uh, these actually came with big ones. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha! Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Cannot go wrong with sour cream and onion. Never. Sour cream and onion is one of those flavors to where it's like. Oh yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd say another eight for me. I'll add that point five to that one. I'll give it an eight point five. I might give it like an eight point three, I'd say. Roughly. It's a little bit better than an eight, but not entirely. That was good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, this might be our least favorite yeah. flavor. I only got two of them. Um, just this salmon color. This, this salmon colored bag pisses me off. <laughs> um, I don't mind it. I mean, I think it's a cool color. I think you know for what it is. I mean, it's this is one of those flavors. Sweet potato. Um, this is one of those flavors that's just like I don't know. 
Yeah. I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes. I'm not a fan of sweet potato fries. I'm not a fan of like, I don't know. Off-road Joe's sweet potato chips will wake up the sweet potato chip lover in you. If you've never enjoyed my chips, you're in for an amazing experience. This awesome snack is a tasty source of potassium, and gnarly as they are, you will never find two chips that are exactly alike. Kind of a weak description, but okay. A weak description for what seems to me might be a weak ass flavor, so. <laughs> if there was a side camera so you could have seen this man's face. No, they can see my face. It's a weird smell. Mm. It looks weird too, look. It looks like a sweet potato. It, yeah. Okay. Give it a shot. It's alright. It's weird, because it's like... These are like plantain chips, more than regular chips. Yeah. They're good, but they're not. Yeah, they're good. They're not better than anything else over here. I give you like a five. I give you like. I'm gonna give these a four and a half. Because I like them a little less than the I dill actually, pickles. I actually like them, okay. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to. Maybe if you add like a little bit of like. Spice on it. Just a little bit. I think they'd be good. Or some sauce. Like if you had ketchup or something. True, true, true. I think, uh, I'm gonna give these to you. <laughs> it's uh, definitely my least favorite out of the ones I've had. After taste isn't really doing much for me either. Now we are going on to salt, salt and pepper. We got two bags because we didn't know this flavor, really. I don't really know what to expect. I'm expecting a seasoned chip. That's pretty much all it is. Uh, yeah. Salt and pepper is pretty, uh, you know, it is what it is. Back. Anyone curious about how salt and pepper got together? One day, old King Louis XIV was hanging out in Paris back in the 17th century. He was getting hungry, as kings often did, and was bored with his chef. The chef knew what that could mean for his head and was inspired to come up with a new taste. The rest, as they say, is history. Hundreds of years later, we have Louis to thank for these tasty and crunchy Joe's sea salt and cracked pepper chips. I think I'm gonna like these. That's probably one of the more interesting stories. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> gives you a history. Yeah. On the flavor. Ooh, they look good. Yeah. They just smell really seasoned. Yeah. You can see the pepper on it. Pepper taste makes everything taste pretty fucking great. Agreed. This is a double chip, so I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's exactly what it says it is. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, literally. So, pretty much, if you're a fan of these, you're going to like these. What these are, is literally, this chip, you go into your kitchen, you get a pepper grinder, <laughs> put some pepper in there, shake it up, you got these, literally, that's what it is. It's a regular sea, sea salt chip. With the little tiny pepper flakes. So it literally is a dad. In the name. We're good. Yeah. I think those are eight. Those are like the same shit. It's an eight. Yeah, there's an eight for me. This is like, they're similar in many ways. I like pepper. So it gives you like a little tiny pepper taste. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, God. <laughs> Now, let me, let me prepare for this. Uh, you introduced this one actually, because. Let me actually pre prepare, because I'm still. Uh, yeah.
the main event. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm ready to have my Anton Ego moment. Where I take a bite out of these and be transported into the days of eighth grade. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> Let me read to you this back one. Work on me, uh, circle. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead, open the bag and start crunching. And munching. <laughs> Remember those Saturday mornings with mom in the kitchen? The smell of fresh bacon whiffing through the house. There is nothing more old school than starting a day with a bacon and cheddar omelet with hash browns. But cleaning up the fry, the frying pan is such a drag. It is far easier just to keep a bag of my Joe bacon and cheddar chips handy at all times. To feed the urge whenever it hits you. As I always say, bacon and cheddar is not just for breakfast anymore. Yeah, I mean you put bacon on pizza. So. Yeah. These are the chips that I remember back from 6th, 7th. Eighth grade. These are the chips that I brought to school and got every person. You at got the lunch everybody table to on. like. You got everybody to like these, but nobody knew where to get them. You were the only one who knew where to get them. You never told anybody because nobody ever asked you. It was kind of like we just just, just give me. <laughs> people had it one day. They had it a second day. They had it a third day, but they never wanted to find out and where. They never had it ever again. <laughs> I bet most of the people forgot. Honestly, if I, I said we didn't, if I send. If I send him a picture of these, he would look at it and be like, "You get flashbacks immediately." You know what? I'm gonna do, do it. it. I'm gonna do it right now. Bacon and cheddar. These are the ones I've been looking forward to. I'm gonna really get right into these for sure. It's been long enough. Whoa! Oh, they smell just like I remember. Bro, look at how fucking season. Look what the fuck. <laughs> No cap, I haven't finished any of the other bags as you can see. I only took minimal like bites of each. Um, these I'm finishing right now. Are you ready? <laughs> oh shit, you got them from Julian? <laughs> mm. Oh! Mm. Mm. Holy fuck. <laughs> I never thought I'd taste these. 10 out of fucking 11 out of 10, bro. I never thought I'd taste these again. I can tell you right now, when you guys see this video, mm. in all honesty, I can tell you right now, the only flavor I can guarantee you guys will like is this one. Oh my god. Mmm. Doesn't that just bring you back? We were talking about how Julian, this kid right here, was the one who brought them to school every day. I sent the picture out to my friend. His response was, oh shit, you got them from Julian? <laughs> Question mark. Because everybody, and when we say everybody knows this whole fucking company because of you, you are the one who put us on to this. I'm so glad that we thought about reviewing these. <laughs> about to put this on social media. <laughs> Tag Joe himself. So these are 11 good. out of 10. This is 11. I don't care. This broke the scale. This broke the scale. These are 11. You were talking about these earlier. If they tasted the same way we thought they would taste, it would be amazing. They taste better. It's been so long, I forgot what they tasted like. Wow. Anyways. I'm still eating them. <laughs> no, I'm not going to stop either. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to finish this bag at least. And you know what's cool? We got four more bags. These are the most that we've had. These are like 
Out of all the chips we got, we've had the most of these. We knew. We fucking knew. Mmm. Mmm. These easily over the uh, chicken wing chips Doritos that we reviewed in a previous video. Those are the best ones in this whole box. Um, for the ones curious to how big the box was, um, we still have a good amount. Yep. Um, this was full. Out of all the flavors, one... And we'll see if we can probably put like a chart yeah. somewhere here or here, somewhere. <laughs> I would say barbecue cheddar. And then I would say... Wait, you said barbecue cheddar? Bacon. Bacon and cheddar. Bacon and cheddar, sorry. <laughs> no cap. Jalapeno one goes second. Then I would say... Barbecue. barbecue. Just third. The... Uh, Soy and sour is four. Salt and salt and pepper are both like tied for five because they're the same thing. Yeah. And then uh, sweet potato. Not that I don't like it. <laughs> it's just I'm not a sweet potato person. Yeah. Anyways. Did you rank them all? Where'd the dill pickle go? The dill pickle? I forgot the dill pickle even existed. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Where do you put the dill pickle in relation to the sweet potato? The sweet potato would be like a 15. The dill pickle would be like a 10. Or like a what? 2. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these were not good. Like, at all. Like, if I were to do, like... If so, there was a pick between uh, dill pickle... And sweet and potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato gets every vote. Yeah, I'd say so. These trash. I think, uh, fucking ass. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Never again. Yeah, that's why we only got one bag. That's why we only got one bag. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. New shit coming soon. New shit coming real soon. We're trying to get uh, a lot of videos edited and yeah, uh, we've been doing a lot of mu <laughs> we've been doing a lot of music reactions uh, lately. You guys haven't seen any of those yet, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get them out this week. Uh huh. Um, follow our Twitch account, twitch.tv slash our false reality. Um, we're gonna start streaming on there more. Uh, we're gonna start live streaming album reactions at midnight. And also, um, he plays a lot of uh, MLB and Forza. I'm a gamer. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. We're corny as fuck.